Hello, I'm Dennis and this here is my friend Edita. Hello. We both know how mounting your TV on the wall can be really tricky, so we're going to show you how to do it right. Solving the common problem of crooked TVs or more importantly, potential unsafe installations. Today, we'll be showing it off with this Hisense U8 TV. It's a 65 inch TV that is gonna look stunning once mounted on the wall. So let's get started. Let's do it. As we know, preparation is everything. So here's the tools that you're gonna need for this mount. First of all, a level. Uh, the longer one, the better. You're gonna need a stud finder if potentially you're gonna be mounting on drywall. You're gonna of course need measuring tape. It's good to have painter's tape. It's good to have a screwdriver, of course, a drill with potential drill bits. You're also gonna need something to take notes. It's very useful to also have a carpenter's knife and to have some additional electrical tape. And of course, ensure that everyone prioritizes safety throughout the process. Now, before we continue, I wanna make it clear that you have to choose a bracket that can handle the weight of your TV. To find the right one, check your TV specifications for size, weight, and VESA pattern which is usually listed on the bracket specification labels. You have to then match these details with the bracket's guidelines to ensure there is a secure fit. So Denise, tell me, what are we gonna do next? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this TV out of the box. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna need a flat surface like this. We're gonna be using this table here. You can also do it on the ground, but make sure that you put something soft underneath to make sure that you don't damage the screen. There's an insert in there that we're gonna be using for this one, but you could also use a blank. It's a huge TV, so you'll need my help, right? Absolutely, I'm gonna need your help. I, I have to note that most TVs with sizes above 50 or 55 inches usually require two people. So make sure that you have a friend, a buddy, or a colleague to help you with the mounting process. So let's get started. So the TV is now safely sitting on our table. The first thing that we need to do is we need to remove the safety screws inside of the VESA mounts. There's usually four of them spaced differently depending on the TV. Go ahead, let you do two, I do two, okay? Now, next job that we have to do is we have to install the brackets. These two brackets, they have to fit onto the TV. Go ahead, you do one, I do one. And we're gonna be using the provided screws. Now, if the screws don't fit perfectly, there's also spaces that you can use to make sure the distance between the TV and the wall is right. So we're gonna put the spacers on, make sure that the spring part is at the bottom, right? We have to do it identical. Which hole are you gonna have? Let's do this one, the fourth hole from the bottom, right? Put the spacer underneath, underneath, like this. One more thing, before we fasten the screws to make sure that the TV is gonna be level, we always ensure that the bracket is all the way up as possible. So we push it up a little bit and then we put the screws, we tighten it and we're done. So now we need to determine the position of the TV on the wall. Now in a standard living room environment, what we're usually aiming for is for the TV to always be at eye level. The center of the TV needs to be at your eye level. In a standard living room environment, that means that we're mounting a TV at approximately 130 centimeters from the floor to the center of the TV. Now this being an office environment, we're gonna mount it at standing eye level, which means approximately 170 centimeters. So we take a tape measure, we go to the bottom, and 170 centimeters, this is where we need to place the center of the TV. So different wall types require different mounting methods. First of all, drywall. If you're mounting on drywall, you have to locate the studs and make sure the bracket holes align with them securely for anchoring. Now for brick or concrete, you have to use appropriate anchors like masonry bolts or wall plugs to secure the mount. Now, in our case, this is drywall. So we have to find the wall studs with a stud finder and mark them with painter's tape. And we're gonna mark the bottom, the top, and the sides and hook positions based on your measurements. Remember, we did those before. It is crucial to confirm the installation height relative to the floor or cabinet. Like I said, ideally, the center point has to be at your eye level. Okay, so we have the studs done, but how do we make sure that the studs are aligned with the holes? We need to mark now. So hold the bracket, we're gonna put it against here. So we measured everything properly before and we're going to make sure that the holes align with the studs. We're going to use a level. Okay. 
So we have it aligned now. The holes, you have them aligned. And we're gonna use the marker pen. And we're gonna mark the holes. Nope. And now it's time to drill. So we take it off and we start drilling. It's time to mount, take out the bracket. Let's do the corners first. So we put it up here. Okay, you got it. Things measured, let's do the top one first. The important thing, don't tie it all the way, okay? So now that all the screws are in, they're not tightened, we're gonna level it off, okay? So we need to go a little bit up on this side. There we go, just a little bit. Now we're level, now we have to tighten them all the way. Do it manually, just tighten it all the way. So all these are now securely mounted. It's time to mount the TV. Let's do it. Well, there's a few things I wanna point out first. Remember, we put these distancers down here. Really, really important, why? Because we have the cable plugs down here, right? So now we've created a distance, which means that we're gonna be able to plug the TV in. If we mounted it directly, we would not be able to do this, right? So now we're gonna prepare this one. This TV um, hook works like this. We release it, so we're gonna be able to mount it. We start hooking on the top, and then we're gonna release at the bottom. Ready? It's a heavy TV, so we have to be very cautious, okay? Go, have it. Okay. Oh, it's 25 kilos. We hook it on the top, a little bit higher. There we go, it's hooked. Boom. Yeah. We release it, then we go down. And you heard the pop? Now the TV is actually hooked into place. Check it with these. Now the TV is secured on the wall. These that are used for releasing the, the straps, we can simply tie it or hide it underneath in the back somehow. So now all that is left is to plug in the TV. Here we go. So Ita, the TV is now set up on the wall, ready to be used. Will you do the honors? Sure, thank you. Go ahead. That's it, the TV works. All we have to do now is set up the Wi-Fi, but that's a whole different video. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Dennis.